Welcome to the Purple Mash for Parents videos. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use the Mini Mash resources with your children in reception and nursery class. If your children are in nursery or reception class, your child's class teacher may have set it so that they go automatically into Mini Mash. If you have not been automatically sent to Mini Mash, you can click through from the home page in Purple Mash. Mini Mash is an interactive virtual classroom that allows children in nursery and reception to explore, learn and create in a safe online space. Mini Mash includes seven learning areas inside and outside the classroom. If I go, go back inside. inside the classroom, let's have a look at the reading and writing activities first of all. Now in this reading and writing area you will have To Create a Story, which is an animation ebook making program where your children can create their own stories. Some alphabet slideshows, these are brilliant for stimulating discussion about the letters of the alphabet. If I click on the speaker icon, it will read the phoneme or the sound of the letter to me. K. And then there are some words that also start with the letter. I then have paint projects, jigsaw puzzles, pairs puzzles, and some phonics resources for phase two and phase three, which are the phases in phonics that children in reception will be learning. Let's go back to the alphabet paint projects and choose a letter of the alphabet. There's a little video there showing how the letter P is constructed and then your children can use the pens on the left hand side to have a go at colouring in the letter P. They could also write the letter P on the clipboard. If they're really clever they could write a word that starts with the letter P. Now when your children have created something and you want to save it so your class teacher can see it, you can use the drop down menu at the top left here and go to the save button. This tray here that says my tray will be your child's private tray that only they and the class teacher can see. If I click on save it gives it a name of the file name there and there is the date that this piece of work was saved on and I click the save icon. There we go that's now been saved. If you want to print that off for your children if you have a printer at home you can use the menu again and click the print option and it will then generate a PDF that I can open up in a separate tab and I can print that off. Let's come out of there and go back to the reading and writing activities. Let's have a look at one of the jigsaw puzzles. The children can put these puzzles together. If they're not sure what the picture should look like, they can click on this button at the top here next to the exit button and it will give me an idea of where the pieces need to go. Let's have a quick look at the numbers and counting activity. I have a pictograph tool here. I have a number paint projects. Uh, some Math City activities and some measuring activities. Let's go back to the number paint projects. I can choose one of the numbers here. I'm going to choose 8 and see if I can colour in my 8. Again, I can use my drop down menu to save into my tray. Let's have a look at these activities in Math City. Math City is a virtual city that the children can go into different areas and explore different mathematical concepts. In this one here you have a video of a gentleman talking about his job as a taxi driver and then a video of children role playing using different vehicles in their playground. And then you have four different activities that explore pattern, number and size. If you're not sure what to do with these activities, click on the question mark at the top there and it will guide you through the videos on how to use these different activities. Each of these activities has three different levels that get slightly more complicated as you move through the levels. There are also some activities here on measuring, finding the shortest, tallest, longest, etc. Let's have a look at the games. This is a selection of jigsaw puzzles and pairs games with different images on them. Let's explore Simple City now. Simple City is a brilliant area within Minimash where the children can explore 10 different areas in this virtual city. Let's go to the doctors for example. Here is a video of a doctor talking about her day. And again, children role playing doctors in the home corner of their classroom. And then there are two activities here, a slightly lower level and a slightly higher level activity where the children can drag and drop some people into the doctor's surgery to make a little scene. I can also use the letters at the top here to spell some words. There are lots of other areas in Simple City that your children can go and visit. The cafe, the recycling station, the idea is that the children have lots of fun but are learning at the same time. I'm going to go outside the classroom now and explore the role play area. This is where you can use the built in camera on your device and take a photograph of your children and they can become any one of these characters. I'm going to choose to be this pirate character. If I click on the camera icon at the top here and position my face inside the oval, I can take a photograph 
Once you have the image, you can reposition it, rotate it, resize it, and then your children can write about their experience of being a pirate. If they're not quite ready to write by themselves just yet, you could act as their scribe. They could use the built-in microphone on your device to speak about their experience of being a pirate. Let's have a look now at the drawing and painting options. You have two options here to paint a picture or paint projects. The paint projects are a selection of activities your children can use the textured pens to draw their own animals and creatures or Easter eggs, all sorts of things. I'm going to draw a mini beast. I've got the textured pens down the left hand side and my slider which will increase and decrease the thickness of my pen. Let's draw a quick mini beast here and save that in my tray. Let's have a look now at the music resources that your children can explore. First of all, you have 2Beat and 2Explore. 2Beat is where your children can create a drum sound. 2Explore is a fabulous tool where the children can explore different sounds. If I press the record button here, I've now recorded a little soundscape at the bottom here, which I can play. All of the tools in Minimash have a video next to the exit button here at the top right. If you want to know more detail about how to use this tool, click on the videos and there will be a short video on how to use this tool with your children. Now, along with the seven learning categories inside and outside the classroom in Minimash, your class teacher may have also added some topics pins based on what your children are meant to be studying this half term. Your class teacher can add up to five topics pins and if you click on the drop down pin there, you'll see the different options that your teacher has added. Let's have a look at some of these activities about the seaside. The seaside topic resources include slideshows. There are also four piece and six piece jigsaw puzzles and a four pair and eight pair card games. Some paint projects related to the seaside and further activities here that your children can use to create a beach scene, for example. If you want to see all of the work that your children have saved into their tray, trays, you can go to the trays area here inside the classroom, click on your child's tray, and you'll see all of the work that your children have saved. If your class teacher has added a comment to the piece of work, it will appear at the bottom here in the comments section. I hope you enjoy using Minimash with your little learners. It's been designed for your children in reception and nursery to learn and have fun at the same time.